<laughs> it is another day here at Vivid Racing and we are going to be doing something cool with the Nissan 400Z or Nissan Z, but I say 400 because it's a step above, you know, the 370Z. So anyways, we are here at the Vivid HQ and we are going to be doing some more power parts on there and specifically with something that I have here and that is the VR tuned tuning box. You might say, well, what is that? That's the way we're going to make some power. So let's go. So what is a tuning box? The VR tune tuning box here is a device and this device plugs into your vehicle in between engine sensors, specifically for turbocharged cars and a boost and manifold pressure sensor. Now this device has some very high tech computer chip components in here and it makes the signals that go to your boost and manifold pressure change and that delivers more boost pressure to a safe limit and has your ECU automatically adjusting fuel and timing accordingly. That helps deliver some serious extra power. Not only that, this thing has several settings on there. So you can go between different settings and we even have a Bluetooth app that will connect with this if you don't want to change it yourself. You usually don't have to change it except for if you're running different octane. For example, some of us here, Arizona, 91 octane, East Coast, 93. You can change what that signal is. The biggest difference between the tuning box here and other products is, is that this plugs into, Yay! not splices, not cutting harnesses or anything, it plugs in between the sensors on your vehicle. That means as we use OEM Bosch style connectors, you unplug your factory sensor, you then plug this new plug into it and it nicely separates it. And there's only two. So you really just have to plug it in the vehicle and you're done. It's about a 30 minute process at most. And of course, if you're worried about your warranty, you can easily unplug it. And for not wanting to sound like a sham wow commercial, of course, this is also made in Germany, if that makes a difference, because it is pretty high tech. So what we're gonna do today is we are gonna show you how the tuning box really works on the new Nissan Z here at the Vivid Racing Dyno. Step one for us to do is a baseline on the Z. That means strapping it down here to the Mustang all-wheel drive dyno. Now this car right now is completely stock. No modifications, nothing to it. In fact, we already put some of our VR Forge wheels on it. We took those off so we can run it with the stock wheels. As we all know, the Mustang dyno reads lower than most. And of course, 91 octane here in Arizona, but it is a cool temperature and we have some airflow going to it with these very sophisticated fans. So let's strap this thing down and do a couple baseline runs. Okay, we just finished the stock runs and here you go. You can see we got blue as torque and red as horsepower. Now, this is pretty interesting because again, fully stock car. So we've got going on right here, blue here. It comes right in from the turbos and guess what? It is this really weird flat line, 360 pound feet of torque and then some crazy drop in here. I'm running this test in pretty much a close to one to one as possible. Um, but so is this, you know, is this something that's going on with uh, with the way the turbo's regulating boost pressure? I don't know. Is this some cam thing? I don't know, but it's very interesting. It's definitely not slipping on the dyno because there's not enough power. So here we go. This is the baseline of the torque and red. We have horsepower. It isn't nice. It's climbing very nice. It's very linear actually. And you can see here it goes very well and it gets about a peak power here of right around 370 rear wheel horsepower. Now, we do stop the test at around 67, 6800, and that's why you see it completely drop off here. Um, that's usually because at that point, the car's kind of, it's out of gas, it's done. It doesn't want to go anymore anyway. So we usually cut the test just a little bit early. So now that we have our baseline runs here with both numbers for torque and horsepower, it is time to install the tuning box. There it is, dun 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 dun. And then we're going to run the vehicle again and see 
what type of cool horsepower increases we get with the new tuning box installed. So let's go. They just finished installing the tuning box in the Z. So now we get to do our after runs and that means to see how much horsepower and torque we increased on this turbocharged engine. So let's get over here to the Vivid Racing Dyno and start some after runs. Oh my goodness those runs are complete and you will not believe these results that we have here these are some pretty impressive results now you remember what that blue line and red line are that is torque and horsepower and you will not believe this because this was our stock right here we have 490 pound feet of torque compared to 360 down here or even in this dip 338 and even fix the dip the dip is gone that is pretty crazy for just the plug and play tuning box, no hassle. So let's see here, torque comes in, turbo starts spooling up and you are climbing, you are climbing immediately. That means your zero to 60 tire shredding burnout goes right here to 3,100 RPMs. Then you carry this over on the torque level. Of course, torque eventually drops down. This torque is still mega different. At 5,000 RPMs, you have, let's see, that's about 410 pound feet of torque compared to still stock 350 pound feet of torque but let's talk horsepower because that's what everybody wants to know is horsepower this is pretty impressive okay so where is the main chunk of the power here while well, the turbo is spooling up and continues here now let's call this area 4200 rpms at about where it should be the most and we see 388 rear wheel horsepower at 4200 rpms compared to only a very wimpy and lame 276 that is um let's do some math divide by pi that is what that's 130 or 110 110 rear wheel horsepower that's pretty damn impressive but you can see here that power continues that power continues through here even at 5,000 rpms we have almost 400 rear wheel horsepower compared to stock where we see about 340 that's still a 60 horsepower gain. Now, if you've seen the stock exhaust on the Z, it is very, very small. I swear those pipes are like two inches big. They're extremely tiny. You can see that the car just does not want to breathe up here. Doing intakes, down pipes, exhaust, all of this will make a huge difference. So even the airflow, obviously we're spinning as much airflow as we can on the dyno, but it just starts starving for air and cannot get out all of this boost. So we see a taper down and we eventually come down here where we're about the same as stock right at around the red line area and we are done with our power gains. But of course, where are we driving? You, me, your mom, and other people, we are in this area. This area right here is the sweet spot. And that makes a world of difference. So that is what the VR Tune tuning box has done. That is huge. That's at least three to four inches of huge. Okay, so we finished our 400Z test with the VR Tune tuning box. And what can we say? It is pretty damn impressive. The best thing about these is of course, you can easily unplug them and remove them for your factory warranty and there is no trace left behind that is probably the biggest benefit so you can check these out of course on the vivid racing website hope you guys enjoyed this 
video on the VR tune box. We've got a couple more projects coming up for the Z. That also includes the new Apexi catback exhaust from the guys at Pexi. So we'll show you how that is. And then we have some suspension components on the way. So thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this VR Tune product. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you see what's coming up next. Thank you guys. We will see you at the next one.